this Disco, this 25 caliber Disco that we just did the shooting with. Pretty highly modified 30 inch barrel, 30 inch 25 caliber barrel. But first we're going to take a look at the pellets that I shot. Did Yunjin Barracuda and Beam and Laser. Go ahead and weigh this Yunjin. 42.3. Barracuda, 30.4. And the laser about 17.1. So the weight seemed to vary all over the place on a lot of these things. <clears throat> Let's take a look at it first. Got an external cocking rod. Because a hammer is pretty difficult to pull. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and dry fire this. There is no air in it. Uh, you've guaranteed that. Now one thing we can look at here is the hammer stroke. I've increased the hammer stroke. <clears throat> I'm going to back out this <clears throat> called an RVA, rear velocity adjuster, until uh, it just barely touches the hammer rod. Okay, now I'm going to take and cock this. All right, now let's take a measurement here. Okay, this is about 8.68 is the hammer stroke, and for the stock disco, it's around 0.6 in that neighborhood. So we've added quite a bit to the hammer stroke, so that's a big part of it. Okay, I've also got a rear velocity adjuster. These are very popular, a lot of different styles on them here. Basically what this does, it puts some preload on the spring, the hammer spring inside there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this apart right now. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this out. Look at the details here in a minute. Here's a stock disco spring right there. So you can see we've got okay, this spring is about 2.824 disco, about 1.8. 898. Diameters are the same. The wire diameters are very different. Okay, about 0.033 wire for the stock spring. Point oh four five wire for this. Also, the number of coils. Disco spring. One, two, three. Four. Disco spring, we've got about 16 coils. I've got about 26 coils in this one. Uh, because of the increased stroke length, you're going to, going to need more length on this, more coils, because when it compresses, you're going to reach coil bind fairly quickly. I've got just a little spacer in here to make the uh, rear velocity adjuster work correctly. I can use it without that to put less preload on the uh, on the spring. Okay. 